today we are creating a airline for a frontal i found an easy way to create the airline hey lovelies welcome back to my channel today we are creating a airline for a frontal if you're new here you're welcome once again my name is bibra and i am a wig blog on this channel i share hair tips wig tips diys and tutorials so if you're yet to subscribe please do well to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you'd always be the first to get notified whenever i upload new content this is a 13 by 4 frontal and i found an easy way to create the airline so watch this video till the end if you want to find out how i did it okay after placing my lace net on my dummy i'll go ahead and create the hairline for this frontal this is a continuation from my previous video on how to make a frontal pattern i'll be using this string it's a hair accessory used for braids i'll be using it to highlight how i want my hairline to look you can go for a straight across look or you can go for a custom look depending on the airline you're trying to create like what I'll be doing in this video. So I'm placing the string and securing it with pins. I'm placing it under the lace net. Okay. You can also use a pen or a marker to highlight how you want your frontal to look before you place your lace net. I'm using a string because I want to be able to change the pattern of my hairline whenever I want to make a frontal. So I placed it just above where I made my markings. I started from the center and I'm taking it to the side and I will do this for this side and for the other side as well. For this side, I'll place the string in a way that it looks just like the other side I have already placed. You want to make sure that it looks like the other side or looks almost like the other side. Okay. The good thing about this string is using the string is that you can always adjust if you feel like it's not as accurate as you want it to be. But if you use a pen, Adjusting and adjusting will only make it look messy. So I'm done placing the string, I'll go ahead and ventilate the hairline. When it's one inch away from the highlight I made, I'll ventilate in a different way. Normally, I give a space between each vertical and slant line for this front half. But on this one inch space, I'll ventilate randomly, that is, in any hole I decide. Doing this helps create a natural finish. It doesn't necessarily have to be a one inch space. 
you can make yours 1.5 inch or 2 inch depending on how scanty you want your hairline to look i'm not going for the scanty look i want something in between also on this part you should use the smaller size of pin or pick one to two strands in each hole preferably one strand if you can but if you can't you can pick two strands this is so it looks natural I forgot to mention that I'm doing the double split knot technique for this frontal. I have a video on how I do my split knots. You can go ahead and watch it. Guys, I'll finish up and be back to show you guys the result. Guys, I'm through ventilating and this is the result I got. Well, I'm loving it already. Alright guys, we've come to the end of this video. And as usual, if this video was helpful, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe. 
and turn on post notifications so you always get notified whenever i upload the new content all right guys i would appreciate your feedback if you try this process please leave your feedback in the comment section thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next video bye